back to the uh, uh. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Welcome <laughs> back. This, Welcome back, everybody. Welcome fine, to another fine Wednesday. Another fantastic, insightful, and exciting episode. We have I got a bone to pick with you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long have you been sitting on that one, Soup? <laughs> you know, he thought of that in bed this morning. I've had this <laughs> chair for about three years. Nice. Same. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't mean <laughs> Yeah, how long, you've had that one ready, uh, too? <laughs> wow. He knew we'd yeah. ask about that joke. You're just full a, of jokes today, aren't a you? A secondary mm-hmm. punchline ready. Okay, what are the... Uh, wait, what? What are, what are the jokes you have? Come on. Um, yeah, you're a funny guy. Hit us Halloween with jokes. jokes. Let's go, dude. I was yeah. just, uh, I was yeah, just ripping bits. you. Nothing serious. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you're pretty hip with the jokes Thanks. today. Yeah, I was feeling a little humorous. <laughs> 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 yeah, Bruh. you got a real spine on you, saying that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. You stop hitting on him. I got nothing for this. I'm gonna be honest. I got. <laughs> I want to fuck your eye socket. Is what's going on. The saddest part about me right now is that I just have no body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hate this so much. I love it, though. I love it and hate. Love-hate relationship. I'm dead, bro. I'm weak. I just hate it. I'm hey, at least you know I'm not a phony bony. Mm, I didn't like that one. Yeah, that one didn't land. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. Neither did my okay. plane, which is why I look like this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You like that uh, one character from Jeff uh, Dunham? Yeah, what is it? Uh, Ahmed the I can't I like, that, I like yeah. that one character from uh, September 11th, 2001. Oh <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the pun- he was the pilot. Uh, uh, I have anyway. a bunger hat, okay? Yeah, why, did, okay, why did you get a bunger hat? Yeah, use 9-11 joke, use code Goons. Fuck it. Yep. Fuck it. If you drink G-Sups, you'll look just like me because you'll end up dead. Yeah. <laughs> Code Goons. Yeah. It's actually so acidic, it will just eat through your organs and your skin. Don't let it ever touch your skin. It's yeah. Like yeah wear, acid. wear gloves when handling G-Sups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wear that full yellow hazmat <laughs> suit that Mr. White yeah. uses. I made the mistake of drinking G-Sups. <laughs> yeah, that was actually soup after one G-Sups incident. <laughs> <laughs> You have to quarantine for 14 days every, every time you drink juice subs. <laughs> Why do they pay us money to know. slander their brand? Because we make them money, I guess. <laughs> People love buying things that might kill them. It's pretty like, Yeah, true. I guess cigarettes are pretty popular. So are like yeah. vapes and shit. Drugs. Yeah, yeah. vapes, drugs. Um, drugs. Alcohol. I mean, even normal things like, like microwavable nuggets. You can get cancer yeah. from those. It's pretty crazy. You can go into a gas station with 14 bucks and die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure you could manage. In a lot of different if you, ways. I mean, if, if you just paid for like fourteen dollars worth of gas and then drank it all, I think that could be the trick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. we could just do a whole podcast discussing ways to kill ourselves. It, yeah, it's kind of scary how easy it is just to not exist. Yeah, it's kind of a miracle of God that we're all here anyway, isn't it? Yeah, what is heaven like? You're witnessing know. it. You're looking at it. <laughs> It's an infinite podcast. Are you actually just going to leave the skeleton there the entire podcast? I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Yeah, me neither. Are you going to hail Hitler this entire podcast? (laughs) Why why do you hit the the little right arm up? Why are you doing that? Why is he saluting? I'm just waving at you guys because I'm y'all's friend. Are you just going to wave for a whole hour? (laughs) Yeah. Skeletons move slowly. I hope a a taxi just picks you up halfway through this podcast because your arm's up. You guys are just picking up bones, and it's unacceptable. You should have at least gave him like a little, a little shirt or something, a little tie maybe, spiced him up a little bit. I gave him a headset. Listen, I'm being really calm right now because nothing gets under my skin. <laughs> Man, you got a ball, I'm don't so, you? I'm so upset with how many of these you've had. Just I just imagine, just I just imagine you're off camera front. holding a book that's titled "A Hundred Skeleton Bone Jokes." jokes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> jokes to make when you're nothing but a skeleton. I wanted to tell some more, but I just don't have the guts for it. God, I want to kill myself and look like that. <laughs> Me too. I, I, I'm gonna look like that pretty soon. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Not yeah. Good. How have you guys been doing? <clears throat> Uh huh. I've been I've been doing all right. Um, okay, been doing? I guess. I mean, I guess I don't need to ask you. You look like you're in shambles. <laughs> How's everyone but soup doing? Uh, bungle. <sighs> tired. Okay, tired. Yeah. 
it's it's one thirty eight p.m. on a yeah. On a but I only slept like five hours. Woke up early. Why? I don't know. You ever just wake up randomly and you're just like, why am I up right now? Too early. Well, yeah, but Every I go to bed like day. I go to bed at a normal time, so it's not like fucked, you know. Well, yeah, but I'm talking like imagine. Okay, for you, it would be like waking up at like three a.m. You were like, why the fuck am I up right now? You know? No. Okay, well you're fucking stupid and you should die. <laughs> okay, well that's that's uh, that's that's pretty. Those are on the same level. I think those is a pretty yeah, reasonable yeah. response. Uh huh. All right. Well, McNasty's a little cranky. How's everyone else doing? Yeah, that's all you, right. Dude. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I'm feeling you, alive. I'm Another feeling riveting alive. podcast today, boys. You yeah, like I've never I've never felt more alive than right now. I don't believe that. I guess life is your perception. Whatever you make it, yeah. Yeah. You dead as shit, yeah. dog. I ate a cricket the other day. <laughs> I've eaten a cricket before. <laughs> this is this is already at a horrible start. I what? Where do we go from you eating a cricket? What are we, we talking talk about? about from- a bajillion things. All right, go yes. ahead. What, what? Tell us about the cricket. What happened? What did it taste like? Uh, it tasted like a sunflower seed. The legs were a little weird. Was it was it fried in sunflower seed oil? No, it was like a dead cricket in one of those packets. It was like a, a ranch flavored yeah, cricket. Yeah, okay. Was it like fried <laughs> first, or was it literally just like somebody grabbed a cricket, put it in a bag, put ranch seasoning, called it a day? Honestly, I don't know. It was like he an was exoskeleton. Yeah, he's probably fried. I think you eat like fried crickets, fried spiders, fried dragonflies is a thing. Um, yeah. yeah. That sounds sick. Have you guys no. ever eaten any bugs? <laughs> Yeah, I've eaten ants um, and crickets and I, I chewed an ant when I was a child and it tasted really, really sour. Really? I've never Yeah, ate... I just like Have you ever smelled ants? ants? Have you ever had like <laughs> an <laughs> no. ant problem and these ants stink? <laughs> smell? Yeah. yeah like if there's been, enough like, ants in one small an spot, you can smell them and they stink. They they have like a weird like chemical kind of smell to them. It's probably like a defense mechanism. Yeah, it could be. I'm probably spraying a bunch of liquid well, out of there. Did you ass. want did you want to eat them? No. Then it worked. It didn't, didn't smell it? like it didn't smell like whole cakes. Uh, it didn't smell like, like whole cakes. cakes. Oh. <laughs> see, he thinks he's going to t- end the meme by playing into it, but it won't go away. Did you see my tweet earlier? <laughs> no. I saw it. No, the I Little Caesar's that. pizza and the whole cake. Oh, yeah, yeah I did yeah. see that. Yeah. Lunchtime. Yeah. Yep. Lunchtime. Funny. Funny bit. You know what's funny is like out of these like food kind of jokes come like coming into my lore, kind of makes me crave it. You've had <laughs> so many like food related jokes, though. Cause we I'm gave fat. you shit for being vegan. We gave you shit for yeah, fucking it's Amazon beef stick. I think the only one that was actually fair to give you insane <laughs> amount of shit for was the Amazon beef sticks. That is putrid. Yeah, and vegan. That was okay. Yeah, I guess vegans just like a, a cop out for not wanting to, to have a proper diet. But well, I mean, Amazon. The thing the about beef Amazon beef sticks is it was just because they came from Amazon doesn't mean they were like. <sighs> it wasn't like Amazon. It. Amazon branded beef sticks. <laughs> well, I didn't think it so. It was the same but beef the sticks you would get in a grocery store or liquor it, store. Yeah, but they it's were still delivered. just like the fact that you ordered like a mass amount of beef sticks from the <laughs> internet. Just, why not just go to the store and get beef sticks? Ugh. It's not like they're like this rare item you have to hustle a guy behind an alley to get. Like he's not charming a snake <laughs> and you have to convince them to give you a beef stick. You just Nasty walk has to meet into like cartel. Like, yeah, you complete a quest. That's the reward, yeah. <laughs> bro. Because you go to the store and there's only like two brands to choose from, and dude, I didn't really like those brands. I I went to a gas station in America. I don't know if this is a normal product that you guys just have, but this was like a gas station in the middle of like somewhere in Kentucky, like just backwoods Kentucky. Um, I had like a bunch of weird Mexican products, and then they had they had pickled hot dogs in a in a in a bag mm. is that something you guys just have I ain't never, I like, ain't never heard of that shit no okay so that was just like backwoods kentucky things i've seen like a pickle in a bag but not no a pickle. no that's see, I, no. i've seen that oh, it was a hot dog big papa pickles and things yeah, it good. was like dude it was i forget what it was called it was like there was a regular one that was just a pickled hot dog that like apparently you're just supposed to eat like it came in like the same kind of package that like a hot rod comes in like the little mm-hmm. little beef stick there and then the other one was like a little Mexican lady because it was a spicy hot dog. And mm. it was just like in the same kind of package. And I, I just. You're really selling you the spicy hot dog, my friend. Me and Yummy were just bewildered by this thing. Well, surely you should yeah. have bought some to try them. No, I couldn't, dude. I couldn't. I, I, I touched it and it just. It felt like grabbing a, a, a dick with a condom on it. Mm. Like that was the mm. same kind of feeling that the hot dog had. And Man, I wish I could get a boner. Good. 
<laughs> You're um, full of boners. Yeah. We could pretty much <laughs> pretty much <laughs> right. fuck any part of you, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. There's nothing. I don't know if skeletons can even go to court, so even like if he wasn't consenting, I don't think it would be a huge problem. That's a good question. Can skeletons go to court? That is a I've great never question. seen a skeleton. Who's got phones on at work? Me. This is a church. No way somebody texted you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess sorry, what? Kind of Guess what? It's, 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 it's my mom, pussy. It's Dubra telling you to clear your schedule your for mom's Survivor pussy tonight. Is texting you? <laughs> mom, put your pussy on the phone. <laughs> Queef for the boys. Queef for the boys. Was that a queef noise, McNasty, or was that yeah. just TV static? It was dude's mom's pussy beatboxing. Oh, so you've heard it? You've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> what a talent. She does that on Black Ops 2. I want to beat that box. Uh. Making my mom's pussy beatbox on Black Ops 2 but with she, reaction. But she pretends she's a beginner. <laughs> I like that shirt you're wearing, dude. Goons merch! Oh, that's the wrong titty. Goons merch! Yeah. Coming soon. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. When's it coming? Who the fuck knows? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. We've been saying that since 2020, so <laughs> who knows if it's coming. <laughs> I've seen- I got like- I've seen some people- I got like a hundred of those. So I've seen some people make their own merch because we've taken so damn long. <laughs> I like upload the picture on like Redbubble or something. <laughs> yeah, actually a while ago there was merch uh, of ours on Redbubble, but uh, it's not there anymore. Get fucked. Yeah. Uh. So you, so you can't buy no more bootleg merch. We'll put out real merch. Well, when we put out merch, it's going to be day. a lot better quality than fucking Redbubble. Mm. Oh, yeah. There's this literally just toilet paper with a stamp on it of the, our logo. I thought yeah, we were planning on doing that, though, because we were talking about, like, scamming yeah, we were, the listeners yeah, for their money. Yeah, seeing how high of a profit margin we could get while still getting idiots to buy our stuff. Yeah, yeah like, we just using, yeah, like that's all we care about is just thread. money. That's all we give yeah. a shit about. Yeah, and like yeah. making it like if, if you get like a large, it actually fits like a, a small or something. Like yeah, yeah. People it's Asian sizing. So like a five XL yeah. is like a one XL. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. And yeah. then like we're not even gonna use like cotton strands. We're gonna like grab hair off the sweatshop kid's yeah. head. It's gonna be it made together. out of burlap. <laughs> we're gonna use a lawnmower on a kid's head. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna use grass clippings from Soup's backyard and just create. <clears> we're gonna sprinkle anthrax skin. all over it. Yeah, we can actually make like frog skin belts or frog skin hats using your. Uh, <laughs> Your uh, supply is that legal? Why not? They're already dead. Skin? I feel uh, like I at this so. point you have enough where it's actually going to start to be like a genuine problem, or like it's never been a the, problem. Like the the authorities are going to need to be like brought in to help clean up the mess of rocks. If if anything, it's been to my advantage. How? Why? The yeah, toxic why chemicals scare away the non-believers. In. Mm. Like Mormons come up to my door and they just smell <laughs> the frog carcass and they just take off running and screaming. That and is the number one reason to have a pool full of frog <laughs> corpses to scare off the Mormons. I mean, if you really think about it, though, having dead animals on your property will like get people to leave you the fuck alone. Yeah, you should just like staple a squirrel corpse to your front door. Yeah, just people would fuck never, off immediately when they saw that. You're, when you go again. in your backyard, does it just shriek? Uh, the whole house. <laughs> oh. Luckily, I can't smell anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, tree of no nose, yeah, right. I feel like I actually believe that your backyard just smells awful. Yeah. Like what does it beans. sound like at nighttime? Just the thousands of screams of tortured souls trying to yeah. get out of your pool. <laughs> it sounds like a COD Zombies map, kind of. <laughs> mm, nice. That's, uh, that's wild. You know, I think the weirdest thing I saw at a gas station was a crock pot that plugged into the phone charging port. Oh. <laughs> what? For when you Going need to be to cooking a, a homemade, I, whole ass, three course meal while you're on the road. Yeah, yeah. you just never know, huh? When you McNasty was one of those. He's a trucker now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell yourself. Yeah. Die, die uh, yeah. You, like, McNasty, you, like the, uh, you like the truck simulator stuff. Yeah. Is that your yeah. post YouTube job you got lined up? Yeah, God, you were just okay. Great don't don't, don't, don't contribute. Like, <laughs> don't contribute too much today. <laughs> Have you seen the guy with the whole like trucker setup? In Dude, his that office? guy pisses yeah, me he has, like, off because he can monitors, just, like wrapped around him. He could literally just actually go drive a truck at that point. I've never understood. Like, yeah. like I can mad. understand. I am. Yeah, Listen, I can understand the people that are like, oh, I got like an F one car. The uh, simulator setup because like oh, you an hypocrite. average person, an average person can't just go mm. apply to be an F one driver. Like trucks. 
you can apply to be a trucker. You will literally get paid to do the thing that you're simulating. He you're probably spending money gets paid on. more to do it at home than he gets to be with his family every night being a no fake shot. make believe no, trucker. No way. Yeah. And he doesn't have Does to he... get cancer on the left side of his face. True. Yeah, that is actually like a violent problem. They need to make, uh, they need to update the big rigs and have them where you can remote control them from home and let all the truck simulator people do them. <laughs> Isn't that what they're gonna do with the Tesla trucks? That'd be big business. Big nasty, didn't business. you just order a Tesla mobile? Yeah, well, I put a, I put a reservation in for the new Tesla truck. Can't say that. Ugh. Damn, a whole Indian. It's yeah. a <laughs> That's a I lot of collateral. What did you do with one of me? <laughs> we put an entire, put entire reservation in. There was like a thousand of them on that fucker. Yeah. <laughs> and we just, I just put them down I as had a to deposit. Go wipe him out with an AR. Okay. And then I get to buy a. Yeah, they were just throwing stones and yelling. Yeah. Or you could just wasn't wipe too much us. of a fight. Kind of dirty, smelly. Okay. Well, that's. I don't know. You look pretty clean. No, I reek actually. You look sterile. You, you look sterile as fuck. Yeah, dude, you you look like a, a hospital bed. What? Do you wear deodorant and cologne and stuff, or are you just like free balling it? No, that's for betas. No, fuck that shit, dog. Uh, I bet you shower too. You shower? Yeah, I just showered before this podcast. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's kind of inhuman. It's it's not really like natural to shower and no, put it's stuff not. On your body. You guys sound like Hindus. <laughs> I use piss as hair gel. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I, I believe that's a little beyond. I would believe that. Yeah. <laughs> This is, it, I don't, it wouldn't hold what, it. You don't even all. have hair. Doesn't what are you like, talking about? Maybe if it like crystallized, it would hold it. He's trying to it's use like it as Rogaine. He's hoping. He's hoping. Yeah. That's how you attract all your mates. You just use your shit and piss as your scent. And just hope that they are attracted to your pheromones. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's not how that works. You're just going to smell like a pissy, shitty guy. Everyone loves a pissy, shitty guy, Blarg. I miss the days when that was that was just the vibe. Yeah. What, like go one back? bath for every three months. Yeah, unless yeah. you're the royal family. Well, People you? actually drink their own piss and think it's going to cure, like, their AIDS. Bro, imagine eating ass in, like, the 1600s. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be like eating some chocolate pudding. Dude, <sighs> you'd, get, you'd get, like, actual sustenance. You'd get calories from doing that. Yeah, you go mud. Yeah, you probably, get get, like, probably didn't do that back then. Going mud. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, like, the only thing that makes, like, that even remotely appealing now is, like, the fact that asses are, are like, a relatively speaking, quite clean place now. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sure mm. back then, like mm. there was nothing, Speak nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing attractive but like a stinky fucking hairy ass crack mm. full of yeah. dingleberries, string oh. cheese when you pulled them cheeks apart. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. string cheese. Mm. Yeah, a little ass crust, mm. just string cheese. You mean like a like a grilled cheese? You split it open, you yeah. see all the flies start taking off. The, the larvae <laughs> freaks out the first time they've seen the sun. It's like when you pick up a big rock and all the bugs just scurry away. <laughs> <laughs> you see the roly polies trying to dip out of there. Mm. <laughs> and then it's like a piece of a target bag for some reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's and it's 1327. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys uh roly polies? Did you guys always call them roly polies or did you have another I used name to pinch them in my hand till they exploded. <laughs> I called them little Sanic the Hedgehogs. Like nasty, you give me like microwaving their gerbil type vibes. <laughs> I talked about it before but I, I real retard. I, I, I tried to a like, one time. I tried to like make one go backwards to see if he could like roll up the other yeah. way. Oh yeah, you told us that and you just snapped his spine. Snapped yeah, and I spine. laughed maniacally. That was a good meme. I hope <laughs> No, I want to do to this hell. to people. <laughs> That was he had yeah, a family. <laughs> How will yeah, they pay the sad. bills now? And then they killed you, and that's why you're where you are right now. Yeah, no, it was I actually died the in a, a Bitcoin mine explosion. Did, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. Did you guys ever call Roly Polies potato <clears throat> bugs? <clears throat> Absolutely not. No. That would be retarded to do. Potato <laughs> bugs? Yeah. What is this fucking Legend of the Retard? Yeah. It's a new Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> but you have to have four IQ to play it. <laughs> He just wears a helmet and walks around Walmart with a puppy. Why did you call them potato bugs? I, did you always find them inside no, of potatoes? No, I don't know. That's just like what they were called people, around me. Some people just called them that, yeah. Ain't no way. Oh, so McNasty does know about this. He's just gaslighting me and feeling like an idiot. What? I wasn't the, That was Soup doing that. Oh, okay. So, you do, you, so you've heard the term potato bug? I have. I've heard other people call that. I've always called them roller polio though. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, no, that's what I was saying, is I, I'm just like... Around here, people either call them roly polies or potato bugs. No, roly poly is okay. so much cooler than potato yeah. bug. I don't know about y'all, but I haven't seen a roly poly since I was in like fourth grade. 
Where well, are you when going was the last time you playing the dirt? Last time you just lifted a rotting tree trunk for some reason, like I mean, I did yeah. some yard work a few days ago. I didn't see a single damn okay. one. Are you? And you're still in the that grass? white, huh? Oh yeah, no, I I have two shades. I look like this. Where's my tit? I look like this or like this. I don't tan. That's insane. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, oh, yeah. bullies don't exist anymore. That is a dangerous life you live. No, I just stay inside. Just it's easy. Stepping into the sun and taking <laughs> your life into your hands. Sunscreen is a scam. Mm-hmm. Is it? You is gotta it build really? up skin cancer. It's not. It's your immunity. Yeah, cover yourself in human shit and you'll never get a sunburn. That's probably like true. That is actually true. Stupid like that. Oh my god, Zeus cat! cat. Cat! Well, oh, uh, I didn't Ruff. see it. <laughs> my, of course yeah, you didn't see him in your eyes. Head. That's true, he does have no eyeballs. I hope the green screen is something like though. weird that the cat just walked into. What do you think the green screen is going to be this week? Put him or in a crypt. should we pick one for you? Put him in a crypt. No, nah, that would be too easy. I think we should put him yeah. like... Put him in like the front of a classroom or something. Put a picture of 9-11 behind him. Nope. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> Put, Put him in, in a, a cave. Compound. Put 17 cartel beheadings behind him. Put him in the middle of a Walmart aisle. I like, like that one. That fat chick in the background. Awesome. Yeah, just grab like one of those like the people of Walmart photos that's like super low res and just yeah. stretch it to fit. Uh huh. <laughs> just Put like a four, a four by three moose knuckle in Walmart behind him. Oh god, damn! So Put a bunch of flashing lights so our epileptic fans can freak only out. Only reason you go to Walmart. Want to see some moose knuckle? Mm -hmm. Some big old. Bidisi. I cannot remember the last time I've been to a Walmart. <laughs> right, a couple I years ago. went to one pretty recently because I needed to buy batteries and the convenience store was closed. Damn! Oh, did you eat them? Fancy boy, fancy boy. Yeah, I bar. did eat them. No, it was uh, it was it was it wasn't in my own town, <coughs> and uh, it was actually odd. I the only type of like people I've seen in Walmart are Walmart people. Up until there, it was like a gentrified Walmart. There was like nothing but like. Wine moms who smoke cigarettes at midnight behind their house so their husband doesn't see. Like it was that kind of vibe. Yeah. Like mm. all got financed BMWs and stuff. Like it was that. It was that type of that type of mom that was there, and they were just like copy and pasted like 150 of them. It was weird. I didn't like that Walmart. It had real bad vibes. I miss you like sure the you big were old... in a morgue. N no, no, okay. I wasn't. They don't usually have batteries at morgues. I don't think. How do you Would you let they... a slug crawl around your balls? Yeah. Would I let or have I let? Yeah. Would. I mean, my balls are pretty salty. I don't know how long it lasts. Oh, I'd probably, I'd probably be all right with it. Depends on what kind of slug, boy. Yeah, it's like a twelve what? gauge or like a. You know, no, like a juicy. human, like a like a. A, a human slug. slug. <laughs> a human slug. Is that what yeah, you're about to say? Slug. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking um, slug. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you! I like to put two slugs on my dick and let them race like they're doing a quarter mile drag strip. McNasty, where'd you get your bunger hat? I made it. Really? You stitched yeah. it yourself. <laughs> no, I, it's it's iron on. Man. <laughs> Dude, the letters. Your that's why the B and the U are sad, pink. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that's why you, that's why I only slept. That's why I only slept I wanted, five I hours. Wanted, I wanted bunger merch, but you just can't get that anywhere. I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah, bunger? I can't imagine why nobody makes bunger, bunger? merch. It do be Sounds popping like off. No market for it whatsoever. <laughs> You're looking at it. That's the market. Yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> that is fuck the you, market. Bunger. Guys who sit at the computer a... with with face masks, gloves, and sunglasses. <laughs> and digital threat camo from, like, Black Ops 2 shirt. <laughs> yeah, did you get, like, 25 digital headshots threat. for that sweater? It's like a, <laughs> like a moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got eight kills. Uh, unlock this camo. McNasty DLC. <laughs> what would that even be? You're looking um, at it right now. <laughs> yeah. It's the new Warzone skin. Just a bugger hat. Do I feel like you gotta have something in your background. I feel like everyone's got something to at least look at. Yeah, no, you just have like this. You look like you're in the back room with a guitar. I'm, I'm in a closet. I don't have room to really do shit in here. You, you have, have your setup you in a closet? Your office yet? Yeah, I talked about this last time, or well, maybe that was when Oompa was on. Yeah, because yeah. I've been doing vocals, and, Speak like, back. I don't have this shit out here soundproofed, or, like, echo-proofed or whatever, mm -hmm. so I can't... This is our okay. fourth podcast, meaning you've been living there for a month, and you still haven't set up your office. Yeah. Why? 
Like, I love how he just said yeah with no explanation. Just Why are you like he's like he's something in the closet? I dude, this is this is the most comfortable place I've ever been in the closet. It doesn't get hot in there. No, I got this box fan doing absolutely nothing. Oh, okay, that's that that's doesn't answer the, good. Doesn't help yeah. the question. <laughs> no, it's chill. There's no echo in here. Do, do you actually like? Do you actually just like not? Do people have a reason or people freaked out over your banana penis? They what? Really? I didn't okay. read the comments. Yeah, on the goons on the community page, people were like reposting oh, of it a bunch. Of course they did. Oh, Bro, I did have that belly button. button. Right. New belly button. Yeah, it was... literally looked like you were holding like your dick, like you had a boner. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, then, yeah. and then your midriff, your midriff when you pull your fucking shirt up. Sorry, sorry for making y'all sexually oh, frustrated. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I got off. Yeah, too I, was all, I was all, I was all, I was all horned yeah. up, hot and bothered. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, when you did I, wish it, I, could, uh, bothered. I wish I could show some more skin, but what's your favorite Pantera song? Who? I saw is it, a is it, clip. Is it shedding skin? <laughs> I think so. I saw a mm. clip of of Dimebag Daryl calling a kid a N word today. Nice. Really? <laughs> it's like this kid was I like, think he was, wasn't he racist? Oh, extremely. Oh, well, he had a confederate like, oh, yeah, flag. Yeah, I mean, yeah, literally. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, obviously, but it was just like. It just made no. It was just the weirdest time to call somebody a hard R. He was like signing guitars and stuff, or like signing random things. And somebody handed him a guitar. He's like, "Let me see that yeah, word there. Play before I sign this." He's like, "He's got to be able to play it." And the security like pushes the kid back. He's like, "Yeah, you got to be able to play it." <laughs> like, I wanted to force this kid <laughs> to play nobody the guitar. Even, like, acknowledge that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Pantera fan base really cared too much that he's called no him a hard R whatsoever. But yeah, he's just. <laughs> It was, he'd just be he'd just be living. It was a different time, maybe. It was. It was, actually, it was like 2000. No. It wasn't that different. <laughs> yeah, like 90s. Still <laughs> probably shouldn't be, yeah. He would have loved yeah. Call of Duty. Mm. Gone yeah, too he soon. Would've. Well, yeah. I mean, he kind of lived Call of Duty on stage when he got shot. <laughs> Damn. So that was... Wow. That was cool. I just They're doing a reunion tour. How are they doing a reunion when two of them are dead? They're getting uh, Zach Graveyard. Wild. Yeah, they're getting, oh, okay. they're getting oh. Zach Wild. Uh, He's probably a pretty and, good replacement. I could see him playing Pantera. And um, Charlie, I don't know how to say his last name. Bunger? I think it's like some Italian like last Like Critical? Name. Charlie, Charlie Benate? No, Benate? He's the drummer of uh, He's the drummer of Anthrax. Yep. Uh. Yup. I'm going to go see him. <laughs> Make sure you shave your head first. Fit right in. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cover myself in diesel. Show up. <laughs> Slide around. <laughs> you. Yeah. That's uh. Bunger, bunger. That's cool. Anyone got anything going on? I don't know why I ever asked this because it's uh, always just, no. We just finished the vocals on my song. Oh yeah. Shit. Hell, yeah. Oh yeah. Is it done? How's then? it? How's it like turning out? Is what's got to be done? It's coming out pretty good. The whole song's uh completely uh mastered and like mixed and everything. We just have to get the vocals, and then we're going to. We're gonna send like the keys to like the the piano stuff and like the orchestral bullshit uh, to a guy that I th I think he said that he does like like orchestral stuff for movies. So he's gonna take ours and we have to pay him obviously and yeah. like spice it up so it's like really intense and sounds That's really good. And, uh, Damn, Bobby, can't wait to hear that shit. Yeah. Very Once we epic. get the vocals finished, <clears throat> we're gonna send it off to a guy that does um like lyric videos that are animated. So it's not just like you know lyrics on screen. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Like. I got one of those done. I got a guy off of Fiverr to do mine. He did really good. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> place to go for that. <laughs> is that actually good? Is is that actually a viable place now? That's not just full of memes. Fiverr? Some things. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can go in there and buy. Like people sell shit for like five hundred dollars, like services and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, I know that. There's, there's actually like... some really talented people on there. Mm -hmm. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, artists and stuff. And like, I don't know if artists, you saw. I need to send it to you if you haven't seen it, Blarg, but me, Crispy, and Yummy, we went on Fiverr and we hired, like, musicians, and they had to, like, make songs from these, oh! like, just these random yeah, yeah, bullshit, yeah. yeah, and, like, the majority of them turned out, like, super fucking good, it was, really? like, yeah. hysterical, that one, like, the, the like, fact that they could, like, use, like, ham sandwich and bologna turd <laughs> and, like, shit like that and turn it into, like, a, a good song and, like, Obama... <laughs> I like just sending them random bullshit words, and it actually turned out really fucking good. Yeah, that huh. buff like power metal guy was did really well. Ham sandwich yeah. guy. 
Yeah. That is a great fucking video. That's probably one of my favorite videos I've been a part of, honestly. It just I, I did not expect it to turn out how it did, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. <laughs> what Why did you turn that on? I did. Dog on the grill. Mm. Dog on the grill. Mm, chicken wing. Chicken wing. Do you put that in a uh, you put that in a uh, cards video one time? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to move that to my recycle bin. Mm. I, I just sent it in the other chat. So when it was like, oh, I don't need that anymore. And then I. Ben, I when he recycles. <laughs> recycle no. Ben. Yeah. So when it. Are so you when, pissing? <laughs> when is your song coming out, McNasty? Oh, I don't have an exact date, but it's going to be. Probably like next month later. or something? Uh, maybe. Fuck yeah. Are you going to finish do... a whole album before you release a single, or are you just going to throw a single out there? No, we're going to do a single and then probably do a couple more songs and then make an EP. Yeah. I don't want to do an album. Let's yeah, you should put long. something out there. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely the uh, definitely the play to at least like put something <laughs> out there, get people excited, and then you can like work work on albums and give them a little taste. Yeah, yeah. Also, the mm. vocalist is moving in with me in like a month, so that's going to make things a lot easier. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, we can do hey, vocals yeah, like yeah. probably here in my office or something. I'll probably set up like a like a yeah, mic need, thing like, a little somewhere. Vocal booth somewhere. Honestly, yeah. closets are actually like really fucking good for vocal booths. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't yeah. really have big closets here though. You don't need them. Like the one that my like that we used to use um, back in the day. Like it was literally a regular closet that I couldn't even fully fit in and like close the door. But he just put it in like the corner of the closet and put foam all around everything. And then uh, they'd hang up like a blanket on the back, so you could just yeah. Like you oh, get okay. no. That's reverb. pretty much what I did. I've got <laughs> like there's like shelves in here. I've just got like pillows up in the corners and shit. I got some yeah. old styrofoam shit and I got blankets hanging. It works perfect, dude. You don't even need to spend yeah. any money. No, you really don't if you don't want to. I want to build a home studio soon. And have I feel like, like you should. Yeah, I would it's, like to have it one makes too. Makes sense in your position. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to move into my new house soon. And Fuck I'm gonna, yeah. Like set up a. How many a How many rooms are in that house? Uh, I don't know. You, At never? least twelve. Twelve rooms. Yeah. What? Damn. Yeah. That's like the All White right. House. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's. Dwight lives in a house with more than like four rooms. Dwight lives there. He takes up Dwight? eleven rooms. Who is Dwight? Oh, Shrew? Eisenhower. What's going on right now? Like Eisenhower? Dad, yeah. Okay. Shut up. I don't know. I don't know Shut what the up. fuck that interaction I don't know what's was. <laughs> that was a weird interaction. But <laughs> I have a I have a big garage and I want to like turn that into uh, my band's room. Like See, I want to set up. I want to set up my electronic drum kit. And like hook it up to a computer, and then set up a real kit beside it, so we have like dual drum shit going yeah. on. Hell yeah! And then you should just burn it down. Yeah, I feel like the only set everything on fire. I feel like you can do so much with electric drums. You really don't even need like yeah. actual acoustic. The only thing you want like actual acoustic drums for, I feel like, is like snares, like actual physical, like oh, yeah. the, the snare, definitely the bass drum and stuff like that. Because the cymbals honestly are better with electric because you get so much fucking bleed with yeah. them with uh with actual well, a lot like, of people what they'll well, do is they'll they'll record a, their own snare sound they'll just get a snare make yeah. it sound exactly they want to do it and then just use that for the electric drum well yeah. really it's better to use real cymbals because electric cymbals are pretty really? are pretty boo-boo cheeks are they i feel like they've gotten pretty fucking good some, of, some are good but like so it's it's really just not the same because a lot of it it sounds really similar like every time you hit it and there's like yeah i guess there's no it's weird undulation like, it, in it if you want to like play on the ride or whatever oh, it's yeah, like yeah. uh it like the kit i have is really expensive it was like it was like fucking five or six grand but even still the symbols like they're really sensitive to touch but it's still like if you hit Not it there. light it yeah it, mm. it won't be there and that makes it, sense but yeah, like what well, what we did on our last album was a hybrid kit. We used a real snare, electric bass drum, and electric toms and real cymbals. And I thought that that was a that's, pretty, that's a pretty good combo. I feel pretty like. unique way of doing it because it helped with the cymbal bleed and the toms, yeah, and the bass drum and stuff. So that way you can make your like an electronic bass drum is really good because you can get that to kind of sound. I mean, it's just bass, you know. So yeah, you're not really, just yeah. big thud. Yeah. I feel like we used to not like it for whatever reason. I don't know. I guess there's also like differences in how you produce it and how you get the sound and the equipment you're using and stuff like that but i feel like when we used to do like uh any recordings any electric bass drum just sounded like 
not great, but that could have been a, a product of the times. That was like five years ago. Yeah, MIDI shit now, you can do so much with MIDI. Like You can mm-hmm. make it sound like just about uh, anything. Yeah. Pretty Very crazy, pretty crazy. I love crazy. how much like, more accessible music production is now versus like even 15 years ago. It's crazy what you can do now. Like you literally do not need a studio unless you basically want to go to a studio. The only thing it helps to have a studio is like everyone's focused and like more efficient with recording and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can do so much shit at home. You don't ever need to like bring your band to the studio unless you really want to. Yeah. The expertise yeah, that's is true. Nice. Sorry, this is random as fuck. You should buy the uh the straw like cap for your Yeti. I don't like it. I, I like to that one makes me feel like I'm sucking on mommy titty. This one makes me feel like I'm milking a little Why would you weird. not want that? This one's like the size of a little tiny pecker. You know, you get like a little... I just like it because like I, I keep my Yeti on my nightstand in the middle of the night and I'll wake up and I'll just... I don't want to like, you know... You'll just breastfeed, yeah. I got a specific bedroom Yeti that I have. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> just, yeah. That one's got the... Uh, that one's got the like the really long fucking bendy straw. It's not like the little chubber uh, straw, but like the like it looks like a big old... Uh, uh, you didn't play hockey, obviously, but like d- goalies use a. Certain you don't know me, obviously. You fucking know yeah, me. Yeah, what's, what's a go- what's a goalie uh hockey water bottle straw look like? Boom. Explain the nature of that. That's what I thought, bitch. Up, yeah, down, left, like right, that. circle, circle, square, Dude, square. Don't, stop! Don't say the cheat code. You're in trouble. No more cops in GTA, Andreas. I actually found actually, a bunch of my old cheat codes when I was moving out of my parents' house. <clears throat> really? Like in a booklet? Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> it was all. Too, it was all down. in. It was all in, I had, um, I think it was for Vice City. And, no, it wasn't Vice City. Um, I don't know which, I can't remember which one it was. But I, like, had the actual game case, and I opened it, and the game wasn't in there, and I was all depressed. But then I saw, like, a bunch of, like, lined paper that was all, like, fucking stained from, like, Dorito fingers and (laughs) soda and all that shit. And it was just a bunch of game codes, and they weren't labeled. So at some point, I had them, like, memorized. On which one was which, but yeah, they were all just. I used to go into GameStop and just read the specific part that I needed out of like a, a manual mm-hmm. to figure oh, out how yeah. to like progress. I would just open yeah. the book and read what I needed and then leave. What a different <laughs> damn time, bro. We had to <laughs> go insane. somewhere to like basically a gamer's library mm-hmm. and to figure shit we'll out. Learn how we had to, to do study. <laughs> yeah. We had to study the ways to figure out how to pass a, a stupid puzzle in Zelda or some shit. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna so, make sure it was my probably kid- so easy. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna make sure my kids know how much like problems I had to go through to get my cheat codes and my walkthroughs. Back in my day, I thought you weren't gonna have kids. Yeah. Are you thinking of me? I don't want kids. I thought McNasty also said he didn't want kids. Fuck you. I'm just trying oh. to. I'm living up to the lore. You're not actually a fucking skeleton. I know you're what? just off to the right. What? I think he's is on the left. Political I think that's statement. Where shadow is. Yeah, political. Yeah. I'm starting Dude. beef. I'm starting goons beef. Goons beef. Oh. Yeah. We could start selling cattle. Instead of goons merch, beef. Goon, get some. Did goon you guys beef. see? Did you guys see that the goons.com website is worth over seven hundred grand? We could buy it. <clears throat> we to could. get the domain for goons.com is like seven hundred and forty grand. What? What is it right now? Like, what is on goons.com? Nothing. It's it's it's, just it's, empty. A, it's hosted by it's hosted by GoDaddy. Surely we uh, can get like a hacker to seven hundred grand though. That's cr- like I remember I wanted to buy McNasty.com. Oh no, it's eight hundred seven seven seventy four. Yeah, oh yeah, seven seventy four. Yeah, almost eight hundred grand. But I remember I wanted to get McNasty.com a while back and it was like three grand. Well, what is what is Blarg.com? Well, well, who, what do? Well, who the fuck be needing that bud? Who the fuck be needing that website? Okay, bud? who needs Mountain Dew with all three O's? I, probably. I don't Mountain even think Dew. I can. I don't even think I can buy Blarg.com. They brought me to a different website. Yeah, if it's already owned, but you can't buy it. It has to be for sale. What is this website called that you're checking this on? This is I was just GoDaddy. I just literally typed in goons.com and it was oh. GoDaddy pops up and says Yeah. Hey, Mc, Whenever you search a domain that's not bought, it'll like bring it to whoever it'll just owns show whoever's selling that, it, yeah. Yeah. But just fucking eight hundred grand for goons.com? I can get the dude.org for nine dollars. Yeah, did you tag did you check like <laughs> goons.gov or goons.net? You can't get a gov website. You don't know that. Anything's possible. You guys. have to be yeah, a gov. I don't like, I don't like how you're speaking to me today, bud. Yeah, well, you can't even speak because you don't have lips. Can we get goons.org? Be nasty. Having a conversation with you is like getting raped. I want you to know that. <laughs> okay. All right. It's so That's much worse. That's a good worse. thing to say. <laughs> it scars it's you. So you remember worse. it forever. 
impregnates Dude, about, you with all about, sorts of bad information. You do everything you can to forget. What is you an carry shame website? with you for the rest of your life? Have to seek therapy. Why? Why exactly is having a conversation with me like getting raped? I just explain explained all of it. Detail? Well, I didn't wasn't listening to you. I want to hear soup side. Okay, it's just bitch. Right. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Why? How am I raping you in a conversation? Yeah, the I'm gonna fuck? learn how to play the trombone, bro. Uh, uh, did, did you guys <laughs> know that, that, that what? I O websites stand for Indian Ocean Territory? No way. No. Really? Yeah, I thought it was just like a. a an extension for like games and like in and out, yeah. Online little 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 bits, little fun little games. It's, yeah, I thought it was like inward outward. I thought it yeah, was I yeah, like what IO usually means. I isn't that what it means in and out, like binary in and out. Uh, I don't know. I just looked up what is an IO website and it says IO is a country specific uh, TLD for British Indian Ocean Territory. Wow. I did not know that. So Slitherio this whole time has just been Slither dot Indian Ocean. <laughs> Agario. I feel like yeah, that, Agar. I feel like I've got to be missing something here, right? Agar Indian Ocean. Isn't there like a trillion like IO games? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm not understanding. I feel like it's got to be. There's got to be some sort of. And they're I'm all getting, made. I'm getting some sort of mis misguided they're all made information. In India? All made in the Indian Ocean on oh. boats. Illegally? I don't. I don't. I feel like I don't believe that fact, even though like this is Could actively be. what Google's telling me. Maybe that's how they get around taxes or something. What does dot com mean? Computer? Computer? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know what what does com mean. Does it just mean it, commercial. Okay, that makes sense. I was, that's right, pretty yeah. straightforward. I feel like I could have probably. I know come what www dot stands for. What does www dot stand for? Worldwide winner. Oh. Wigger, wigger, wigger at law. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say his name three times when he shows up and tries yeah. to defend you. <laughs> just, to just imagine him popping up right behind you after he says that. <laughs> Don't say his name at five p.m. on Wednesday. <laughs> Like a J Station video. Calling Wigger and Wigger Law Firm at 3 a.m. in the dark. Gone sexual. Almost got represented. Yeah. Almost got represented. <laughs> oh, no. That's it. I'm playing Slither.io now. Oh, I've lost dude. interest in this. We should, uh, we should make a video on Slither. I almost streamed it the other day, and then I was like, wow, that sounds... So there you have funny moments? Bro, didn't Jelly you should, you Jelly. used yeah. to do... Uh, Dude, Gary that was like moments. that was the Minecraft Fortnite of like gaming, like friendly gaming YouTubers for a while. Agario, that was a weird oh, time. That was the shit, dude. That was the shit back. Agario in the day. was kind of big, but Sli when Slitherio came in, Slitherio, how do you fucking pronounce it? God, every YouTuber was just. I only played Agario. Was, it. was it just like the same premise? You're but just you're a snake. snake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty snake. much. Be the biggest. Dude, I'm actually snack. fragging right now. I am fragging hard <laughs> in Slither.io. I just got in here and two giant snakes died, and now I'm the champion of the snake world. Do you, I died. Do you guys think that we, like, do you guys think that gaming is still good, or we're like just getting older and we're not like appreciating it as much? That's a really good question, I actually. A, I think it's both. Honestly. I think it's a healthy mix. I think like, yeah. just unchained, like, wants for profit and for getting people to stay in the games longer. And yep. just giving more content rather than better content. Yep, just trying is, to pad their is, their gaming time. Yeah, yeah like much. one of the one of my favorite uh, games growing up was like Assassin's Creed, like the franchise. I I love those games, and uh -huh. I still enjoy them. Back in the day, you could do like what whatever uh, Assassin's Creed Two, probably everyone's favorite that like got them into the series. You could beat that game in like twenty some hours, probably maybe forty if you're slow. Um. And then the newest Assassin's Creed, it's like literally just to finish the story and do like no other side quests. It's like 90 hours of just the same shit mm -hmm. over and over. And it's just like, that's just like, I'm just using that one as an example. There's so many games like that where they're just like, gamers want more and shit. And it's just like, yeah, we want more interesting content. We don't want more bloated content to just do nothing. Yeah, just games. drawn out repetitive mm -hmm. yeah. shit. Yeah, it's just like the same thing essentially over and over, and it's just like, brother, I'm. What I'm was the game tired. with Norman Reedus where he was like a delivery man or some shit? Oh, that was uh, oh Death Stranding. Death Stranding, Dude, yeah. that shit. Was that is a good. 
It's a pain in the dick hole what, to play was that, that game. A, was that a good game? I never mm, played it because I, I always, I always it looked depends. at it and thought like, I looked at it and thought like this looks horrible. It, it, it's horrible, horrible it's, and and tedious or whatever. But the story is apparently what makes it worth it. The story so is apparently I, incredible. I played through it, and the closest thing I could describe it as: imagine cutting your foreskin off with nail clippers. Is what that game feels like to play. It is just the worst thing ever, but it is also really fucking good. It is like a lot of nothing, and then when there is stuff, it's like holy fucking shit. It's all it's all happening now. It's all going down, and then it goes back to literally nothing. Like a lot of the game is actually just straight up either walking or using your little bike, and it's just mm. yeah nothingness. <laughs> There's some cool moments but, though where you shoot like a giant whale with a big ass pussy. That part's pretty cool. Okay. I spoilers, I don't spoilers. recall a I don't recall a whale pussy oh, moment. But are you sure uh, you played this game? Moby Dick moment. <laughs> I Moby wuss wussy moment. <laughs> you know what game I really want to play that just came out? Stray. It looks su super. Is that the one about the the cat? Yeah, it's just a straight cat. And you just like cyberpunk cat. Yeah, you just like fuck. you just get to literally just walk around as a cat. When I bought it on Steam, I thought that it was already out, and then I I went and looked at it, and it was like grayed out. And I was like, oh, it's depressing. It yeah, I've been looking forward to that game for like a fucking. This is in the end of July, isn't it? It's already out. It came out like today or yesterday. Oh, yeah, people have been buying it. Like, it. Yeah, uh, I literally I watched like half the game that. today, and then I was like. Oh wow, it's only like a four hour game and I've spent two hours watching a stream of it. I'm gonna go ahead and click <laughs> off now. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah, games like that I love. Like Inside was a fucking amazing game. Yeah, um, I watched Markiplier play. <laughs> no way. Bro, that That's game is so good. Shocker. It is like probably my top ten games. And it's only like a four hour thing and there's like barely anything going on. It's just like I don't know, just good content in a small period of time. I will take that all day over just like bloated map like whenever a game talks about how big their map is i i immediately yeah. like lose most of my interest in it because it's just like it's just going to be nothingness or like procedurally generated entertainment which is just usually not that entertaining like just walking around in minecraft not that good of a time it's just <laughs> like yeah. that just that that idea of like either procedurally that's generated or just endless big things is just not that fun I feel like that's where the part of like us getting older is too. Like, because if you're like nine years old, you can do that and have a blast. Like just walk around yeah. unmodded Minecraft and just do random I mean, shit. I don't know if that's a product of being older. But I like it when like, there's like a, an objective. Yeah. yeah. Or like if yeah, there's a me, reason, me if there's a reward for going and like just exploring and just walking, like say a game like Skyrim does it pretty well. Um, like yeah. a game like that where you, everywhere if you just walk rather than fast traveling you like get rewarded with interesting content you'll like stumble on a cave that has a quest or you'll find a random npc yeah. getting attacked by a giant and then they're flung to space or like somebody getting robbed or you getting robbed like there's there's a reason to it and then it's there's like a fine line i forget exactly uh what the number is i'm sure like people that work in the game industry would know but there's like uh a golden rule that a lot of devs try to f try to meet of like you don't want to overstimulate people by making something interesting happen every like 15 seconds there's like an interaction somewhere some too shit. much for monkey brain yeah but like i think they try to do like if i i could be misremembering but i think it's 90 seconds they always want something to like you know engage the 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 player and like ubisoft does 30 seconds with games like far cry and shit um gta i think they also do 90 seconds in like red dead and all that stuff but yeah it's weird i don't know i think I gta know 6 over. is gonna flop it, there, you think so it, no way it lives up to so. gta 5 right i mean what huge ass shoes to fill i just yeah, have a huge, i have a feeling I, i'm not gonna say for certain because it could be outstanding yeah. i just i really feel like people are gonna be super hyped up about it and it's like, like the cyberpunk effect, right? People are yeah, going to yeah. have such insane expectations that there's no way it can successfully deliver. Just no shot. Yeah. That's, yeah. uh, I feel like you but can avoid that. I don't think GTA that. is going to be buggy, though. Like, that's what kind of no, killed cyberpunk. Be buggy. It was just the bugginess. Well, no, no, it wasn't the bugginess. It was the lack of content. You could still, like, I personally, yeah. I think cyberpunk is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Yeah, but told me that before. I have not, I didn't watch the trailers. I didn't watch the. The E3 presentations, I didn't watch any of this shit 
talking about what's going to be in the game and stuff like that. So I didn't have these did internal expectations for the game. I also played it like six months after launch, so most of the main breaking bugs were gone. They're still like T posing naked on a motorcycle bugs, but those just yeah, didn't yeah. yeah. I played it the day it came out, and it was yeah, that's buggy a mistake. As, Me too. It was we, buggy we as game. dick. I think yeah, we it streamed awful. it on the same day. Very very buggy. Very not fucky. a good game then. But like then there's yeah. people who like love uh, those developers and like CDPR and because of Witcher Three and shit like that. And then you know Witcher Three was such a good game. So they look at all these trailers showing like people fucking jumping off of buildings and slashing them with mantis blades and then blowing shit up with a grenade launcher. Like you couldn't like do any of that shit when the game came out. Like you you couldn't do half the mm. stuff that was advertised. I feel like that's yeah. why that game flopped that's so fucking bullshit. hard. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's like like class action lawsuit type type bad. <laughs> like uh, No Man's Sky. You guys oh, remember that? Oh yeah. yeah. That was really that, bad. There was literally the no game. Supposedly like that game is supposedly like crazy good now. Oh yeah, no, it's a great they, they game. They decided now. It's super to add fun. a game eventually, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Remember, remember that? Yeah. Shit? Oh, you see that planet over there? You could go there, and you can go to the center of the universe, and there's just like you can, and there's nothing there. And there's just nothing. <laughs> Every yeah, planet such, is the same. It's such emptiness. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's not bad now. I I have a few hours on it, but it's just like, it just it just reminds me of like. It's like it's like getting back with an abusive ex after they went to therapy where it's like, yeah, they're not they're not bad yeah. now, but it's like I remember what you did. I remember who yeah. you were. Yeah. I, I feel like <laughs> no matter if a game comes out and it's ass, even if it like fixes itself within a few weeks, I still I just I will never get rid of that like bad taste in my mouth from the original experience. Yeah, That's like I mean, look at Oh, well. I mean, look at that Battlefield. Too, yeah. <laughs> Battlefield, yeah, Battlefield 2042 apparently has like a whole roadmap now. Apparently it's got some decent content shit. It's like I could not be less interested because the first few times I played it, I like it was terrible. Yeah, I'd actually rather. I personally have very bad blood with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. I actually yeah, I they, didn't mind they did a little troll. I, I didn't mind it. it. It wasn't that bad to me. The only thing that was fun was uh, the hovercraft thing. That was sick. But then they yeah, nerfed it. What did we call that? And then they fixed it. Scrimping boat. Scrimbo, yeah. That's yeah, Scrimbo. I like the grappling hook thing, too. That was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if yeah. I experienced that. That was probably was, after uh, I got banned. Probably. More than likely. <laughs> there was, uh, I don't know, DICE is so good at making games, but also so bad because the, their management is brutal and also EA is their their member. So, yeah. I feel like that's the, that's a problem with that one. <laughs> Who owned it before EA? I can't remember the company. What, I thought it like, was always wasn't just it, Dice, and then they got yeah. Wasn't it? It was just Dice though at yeah, one point. Yeah, I think it, so. That was when it was great, dude. Like Bad Company Actually, Two with the Vietnam it? DLC. That no, shit because was I awesome. still feel like that was on Frostbite Engine, which I think you have to be owned by Dice to use Frostbite, unless I'm wrong. No, it was um, still Dice. I just didn't know if there was another company with them or if it. Yeah, if no, no. I mean, like, like I mean, like, uh, sorry, EA. I think you, in order to use Frostbite, I think you have to be under the wing of EA. So my, the EA might have just like not been the ea that it is now when those games came out funded it no oh. i don't th i don't think so i don't think ea had any part of those games i think ea came in like <clears throat> battlefield 4 you think it was that no ba ea was definitely battlefield 3 for sure really battlefield I, 3 was a great I game mean, though. i mean look before <laughs> yeah it was well, in a way. I, mean, well, in things, way. I, I feel like i feel like once ea really started getting into like microtransaction territory is when they started becoming shitty because, like, EA made the old Battlefront games. Oh, Those wow, games were yeah. fucking amazing. So, oh, fucking, yeah, they had that one Battlefront game that was just... Me and Super locked yeah. violently. Which, locked. another game is apparently really good now. It was yeah. uh, 2005, like, by the way, when they bought... When uh, EA bought DICE, uh, apparently. God, those so, old yeah, they've Battlefront had dice games. For, they've had DICE for a while. Or, yeah, so it's like... I would imagine it's just like it wasn't... The, the EA we have now was not the EA we had then. Oh, yeah. you're right. I guess they, they did own it then. They just... Yeah. I, wow. I feel like at one point they just got really... I think it was like, you know what made a really big turning point in gaming is Fortnite. When Fortnite really started growing and like, yeah. it was a game that was free, but loaded with microtransactions and yeah. they were making billions well, of dollars. EA Every company wanted to adapt that. Fortnite came along though. Well, they, yeah, but I Fortnite, think, Fortnite capitalized should, on it the most though. Yeah, they definitely what? did because their game was free to play and you could just yeah, buy skins. Right. I think right. what really uh, started all that kind of shit was uh, the CSGO boxes. I think that was like what made it into yeah, every kind of game. It's hard to say no, though because I would say I would say it's CS:GO. I'd agree with Soup because uh, do you remember when they did like with FIFA? EA started doing FIFA that were like 
randomized packs you could buy that yep. was like a right around the same time as cs did cases and yeah. then cod was doing the cod point thing mm -hmm. where you could buy cod points and, and get skins well you yeah. could also then, a call call of duty also had cases too like in the elite yeah yeah, that, yeah. yeah that's what oh, i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. they did I yeah about you that. use the cod points and you open up your elite cases and bullshit yeah. like that. I, yeah. and I, but I, then i think ea like i think it started with like the battle or not the battlefield the uh the battle star Front. wars games yeah the battlefield yeah, yeah, the game. star yeah, they, wars games that's when it yeah, went really down yeah that was that was not royally good. fucked They'd up be, those games yeah that was like blown out of proportion because how bad the game was as well at the time like how the state it launched in it was, well, it was no like content. pay to win though wasn't it like you could you uh, would pay money and get better performing yeah. weapons and shit you, yeah <laughs> it wasn't weapon it was like heroes and stuff like that uh, yeah, it well. was was it attachments i can't remember i did play it because i i mean like my friend paul uh loves star wars so we always played the battlefront games together and i remember when that happened and like even he was just like yeah this is fucking shit but it wasn't like as bad as it was blown up to be it was just like a combination of the game wasn't that great and then they were like trying to fuck people over by making uh more so like it wasn't pay to win but more like pay to be slightly better or slightly easier pay to convenience i would say is a better yeah. a better mm -hmm. term for it um, and then fortnite said fuck all that we'll make our game free and you just buy whatever honestly you want. the best way in my opinion because yep. it's like completely cosmetic like you could you could have fucking 5,000 hours on Fortnite and be the best in the world and not pay a single cent. Yeah, I remember yeah. I did a I did a sponsor with Epic Games uh, when Fortnite was like first coming out. It was like when they first added the Battle Royale mode. Because Fortnite, it I used to be... Yeah. Save, it, save it was just like yeah. Save the World. Yeah, it was just Save the World. Then they added Battle Royale. And I, like, I, uh. like they sponsored a video of mine and I talked about it. And I was like, yeah, I think this is probably like the best Battle Royale out. Like ever at the time, it was old for people, so people, people fucking shit on me, and I, and they were like, "This is some cartoon." You were game visionary, aids. <laughs> and I was visionary. like, "I was like, the game's free. What do you like? It, it's literally free because that was like yeah. a yeah. new kind of concept. Like there weren't really mm -hmm. free like just games you yeah. could play. Really, the only big battle royale at the time was PUBG, but you had to buy PUBG. Yeah, PUBG, exactly. and it was always buggy. And even PUBG as was shit. Yeah. PUBG Hackers was shit. Hackers Bro, out the PUBG ass. made so much money and still used like base assets that you could get if you just buy Unreal Engine four. Yeah, like literally, like the the Scar yeah. weapon, like the Scar and M sixteen, they're like two dollars and fifty cents assets on Unity, or sorry, um, Unreal. It's just like so lazy. The one thing I'll always praise Fortnite for is their anti-cheat system. I don't know how the oh, fuck yeah, they do it, good. but they have always been so good about like keeping hackers away. Yeah, because free-to-play games are usually boo-boo ass with hackers because yeah. they just like, make another one. Yeah. Did you guys ever IP. play CSGO when they first went free-to-play? Yes. No. Oh, fuck. It was miserable. There were people spinning but around. But now they have and... like, the, the Prime thing, right, where you add your phone number or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that shit because like, doing CSGO Overwatch was actually pretty fun. You watch like Oh, games I forgot that, about that shit. Yeah, yeah. you I watch like video, games that were reported. Uh, Soup, did I ever show you that one where I did that as Rock Ash? Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. Did you take that did idea you, from Smitty and Tucker? <laughs> do you guys know about the Rock Ash thing? No. Uh, uh, did, wasn't that a voice so, that you did? One of the one of the yeah, one of the first like concepts of YouTube videos I did after the Ainsley video was to oh. just be an Indian guy and like CSGO surf and stuff. <laughs> and this yeah, just wow. it was rock it was pretty it was pretty much the voice we do now. Like, oh my friend Audio oh, like <laughs> kinda deep. Yeah, really. it, it stems from Onage Pranks. That's yeah, the guy. Yeah. That's where it the is, voice yeah. comes uh, from. Ah, okay. Yeah, and his name's even Rockish on the actual like Onage yeah, Pranks yeah. thing too. And yeah, I did an Overwatch video where I like watched a couple of hackers and I did the Rockish voice and it was fucking awful. It was so cheesy. Awful. The whole did, the whole Baconator thing I did like that was very very Onage pranks inspired. Yeah, mm -hmm. like me heavily, and you both. Me and you both get our Indian voices from Onage pranks. Oh, most definitely. I'm gonna be That's honest. I, I don't think I've ever watched humor. Onage because he did pranks. like back in the day watching prank calls. Onage pranks was f like one of the fucking gods of doing prank calls on YouTube. It oh was yeah, so fucking the funny. funniest dudes on the yeah. platform. Like Buck Lau, like hello, my name, how you doing, Buck yeah. Lau? Yeah, like so good. I feel like that and that's where the so Baconator familiar. thing came from. Where I was like, something like a high womp. Like, yeah. It's fucking Buck Lau. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't Buck think I've ever favorite. actually watched a video from this guy. Oh, it's I classic like YouTube, dude. Too. 
Dude, Tyrone, yes. Yeah. Blog, I got to send you some, dude. The, like the when, animated ones are so good. You know what I would love is when he would do like Tyrone and Buckle, I would be like dating or something. Yeah. He'd be like arguing between the two of them and shit. Like, on, yeah. Those videos were amazing. I like when he would be Tyrone and call like some girl's baby daddy. And, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've seen every one of his videos. I remember like so much he's of that got, shit. He's yeah. got an automated prank calling app. Oh, I don't know. I haven't watched Hell him in yeah. like 10 years. Does he still even watch his face reveal? Yeah, he still uploads. Oh, oh he did on, a face on, reveal? Yeah, he yeah, did a face reveal. Actually, not bad. Huh. <laughs> um, hold on. I want to I see if I can download this app and see if we can try it. Dude, can you can you make your veins and your arm pop as much as you can right now? Uh, oh, weird request. That's a weird request. <laughs> I don't know if you can really God, see God, you look like camera. a heroin addict. <laughs> Do it on the other arm. Uh, this, this is the vein of your arm, but... Uh, just just hold a weight and put your arm down. Why are you putting your fingers on your arm like that? It makes it block the blood to your Yeah, it makes it uh, pop out more. God, nice. McGass, you don't do heroin in his shows. You should <laughs> do more hard drugs, bro. Yeah, I tried it one time, but I puked everywhere and bled out of my asshole, so. I believe that. Actually? Poggers? Is this Poggers? a true story? <laughs> you know, actually, I would actually believe that McGass no. tried heroin. Tell the story. Let's hear it. Uh, I, I have not done heroin. I would never do that. I had two step parents ruin their life with. I had two step parents ruin their entire lives with meth, so I would never like go that far to do shit like that. Bunker, bunker, What's bunker. the hardest drug you would do? The hardest drug I've ever did was ecstasy, and I did it one time, and I won't do it again. Did you what? want to fuck a dog? What was it like? Uh, it was just like euphoria, like everything was just enhanced. I didn't do a lot of it. That sounds awesome. Yeah, like music just sounded better. Um, everything just felt better. <laughs> like you would. You would touch like dirt, and dirt would just feel really good for some Did reason. Did pooping feel better? Oh, an extra shit. Just, when I was on it. He just purposely yo-yoed a turd for like forty-five minutes. <laughs> I did it. I was like out of town at like a like a barn party party. Like somebody was having a party in like a big barn area. I gathered that. Was I there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I need to be logged in. I'm I'm trying to. Uh, you need to put a log a turd in. in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> the same, like, I'm trying to uh, trying to download the Ownage Pranks app right now and prank call soup. Uh, oh, oh it's, it one of the, it's like a soundboard kind of thing. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? We've mm. also had a tornado warning all day, or watch, I should say. So that's you have fun. those up I think there. You mean tornado? What tornadoes? Yeah, yeah, we get tornadoes. I didn't know Canada got that DLC. Yeah, we got Canadia. it. <laughs> we uh we have we have that that DLC unfortunately. Yeah, my neighbor it got really windy earlier and like my neighbor's plant and cushion are still in my yard. And I'm not getting them. Steal back. them. That's your you property now. Them. Yeah, that's I'm your not, shit I'm now, not throwing but... them back over the fence. There's a law if it's been on your yard for less than 1 minute it's yours forever now. Yeah. Welcome to the app. Okay, hold on. I'm I think that was the argument you. for slavery. That's actually <laughs> That's actually how I got Millie. She just wandered on my yard and I was like this is my dog now. That's actually how I got married. Uh. This man was just in my yard for a minute, and I just tied him up and put a ring on his penis. You know, hearing about like tor like you guys having tornadoes and hurricanes and shit really makes me like living in California. Yeah, hearing about how your entire state's on fire really like makes me yeah. glad to live in yeah. entire yeah. state. What are you talking about? Your entire state's on fire? Is that is that's what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, -uh. uh. I live in the middle of a city and there's no fire. Mm. Yeah, have so, fun not bathing. Also, the for ground three shakes a couple of times a year. And have fun not bathing, bathing for three months because you gotta uh, yeah, not, like say what is going yeah, on. Bathe as much as I want. Your phone is ready. <laughs> oh, That's Buckloud, baby. That that was was one one the phone is ready. The hello, how you doing, big boy? Thanks for signing up for Captain. You actually do such a good Buckloud impression. Yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the you a good water. Doing? I need a low. I need the suck a dick chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best part too. of those is that the people be like, okay, suck a deck check in and what else? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you they're talking to like actual real like heavily like I need you the boo sack noodle. And they just have no idea like huh, <laughs> they just take what? a guess. All right, well, it sounds like you said this. Yeah. God, me and my friends used to fucking love those videos. Oh, yeah. Me and my friends. I used to watch used to that watch with them. my dad. I used to watch like I used to have my Xbox plugged into my dad's TV and we used to sit there and just watch Ownage Franks for like an hour or two hours. Yeah, baby. I probably would have watched it longer, but he likes to watch like n the news and shit. You know, he's old. Wow. Get a phone number. Watching the news is comical sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I like that the news is being less and less watched over time. 
Because it's biased media, I'm me boy. Sending yeah, a call. Very biased. The so Democrats. Let me know if you get a call. Media, me boy. Let me see oh, if what? I'm getting a phone it's... call. Yeah, I'm getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> From Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. It probably uh, just hello? creates like a random number. Yeah, hello. Uh, this is Rakesh. <laughs> How you doing, big boy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, my internet is not working right now, so I wanted to disconnect your Wi Fi. Uh, can you give me the password? Yes. Yeah. My Wi Fi password. Don't worry, I'm only going to use it for one day until my internet goes back up. Okay, that is fine, my friend. That is fine. My password Don't is. Worry, I <laughs> My friend, the password is wireless bean for 2069. All capitals. My friend, I told you the password. This isn't working out too well. I want to suck your penis. <laughs> Just so you know, All I right. can't end this. This has to be you. Thank you. Wow, that was fucking so. Like, were you stupid. pressing like the soundboard buttons, or was it just no, responding randomly? It literally, to what a... it literally just tells me that the phone has been connected, and that's it. And it just wow. runs from there. That just goes. That's really good. I'm gonna have to download that app. It kind of didn't. It almost didn't sound like him. I'm gonna log out and delete this. Like he said, it was. He said that was Rakesh, and it didn't. It didn't sound like the old Rakesh that he used to do. Probably because it was through a speaker on. A speaker. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. There was, it was going through two speakers to get to you. Mr. That was an awful speaker app. Speaker or knocker. He used to I do another guy that, that was like. He used to do another guy that was Arab. Oh. oh. Is Rakesh not like, Arab? No, Rakesh is Indian. Oh, What's I'm the sorry. Difference? My bad. There was an I there was an Arab guy. I can't remember his name though. Was it Matt yeah. from the Goons podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to do more prank calls. I've been slacking. You do. It's been a while. Yeah, you gotta hit it's your quota. It's been a while. Been a while. Since I hit F nine. <laughs> What's that game that, that that was Valorant? That was Valorant. I remember that session. That was probably the worst session we've ever had. Valorant, I think Valorant that was. wasn't that bad. No, that oh. one session we had though, I just it's ingrained oh. into my memory. I remember we played for like an hour and fifteen minutes, and I only hit F nine once, and it was literally when <laughs> when dude just sang that. He's like, it's been a while since I hit F nine. <laughs> How ironic was, that that's the F nine. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> and that was the only <laughs> clip I got from that like yeah. hour and fifteen session. I wonder how many <laughs> sessions we've had that have ended up as just horseshit. <laughs> I don't know, a decent amount. I feel there like was a recent the session. I I think I deleted the last GTA session we played with like racing. I don't yeah, know. To me, I felt like it was awful. That's nah, a second channel video. I mean, Nasty, you just haven't been talking a lot in videos recently. Yeah, it's because I'm depressed. Are you are you being serious or <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, it, I don't know. It just depends. Like sometimes I'll I'll get on and I'm just like, I don't know. It's like I just don't. I, I feel can't like if he's think not of, allowed to say the n word, he's not gonna be <laughs> super interested in the. Don't session. muzzle me. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's definitely rock, not rock, that. Let me say the word. It's definitely not that. I I just uh I don't know. I'll get on. And I'll, I think that I'm like in the mood to be witty and crack jokes, and I just like my brain just can't process wittiness for some reason. Sometimes I don't know. Mm. Well, people have Dude, bad days much. and good days. It happens. Yeah. Sorry, nothing yeah. will be ever worse than the end. The last few weeks of Siege. I just, I don't think I've ever uh. deleted so much footage in my life. I remember we literally record, get on for like an hour and twenty minutes, and just, I don't even think I'd smile. <laughs> I don't think any of us would <laughs> smile. It would just be like, no you know, smiling. There's, there's the same joke. <laughs> you missed same some map. good, like some good recent Siege sessions, though. Oh, I don't fucking care. I hate that game like so much. I just could not go back to that game. Uh, it's like baby. that's extremely bold coming from McNasty. You're a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hold play you anything but milk. Siege. <laughs> yeah, I was actually having to convince McNasty to play Siege the other day when we played with Yummy. Wild. Uh, yeah. And uh, fucking McNasty was vetoing every game, and I said Siege, and he vetoed. <laughs> I was being that. a little bit of a baby. Yeah. Well, it's because like I, I've been ever since Rat came back, I've been playing CS with him, and he plays like super late. I've I've just been having a lot of like 
just first person shooter funny moments footage and I've wanted to play something like silly like the games we played the fucking yeah, so granny, it's all up to you what the granny video yeah, I, grandmaster I, I mcnasty deciding what we all have to do <laughs> yeah he's he's got a lot of fps footage so we're next not time all I'll just yeah, agree. sucks for everyone else is his decision ultimately. next time i'll just agree with whatever you guys say that sounds good yeah that would be actually a lot easier for the full group <laughs> 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 okay. i guess he's not filling in a woody mood today <laughs> <laughs> no comeback no why do you slur. say that this is silence. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> a I'll crack a, I'll crack say a joke, bro. Crack okay. a joke. Okay, what is a dentist's favorite dinosaur? What? A flossoraptor. There we go. Bada bing bada. <laughs> <laughs> All right. McNasty's back. I'm back, boys. Well, I'm back he in really business. He really is back, guys. This is 2018 McNasty yeah. back, on the, back in the helm. <laughs> He yeah, got him I, finally. I, I was honestly thinking about going back to try and like slamming a monster before sessions like I used to. Yeah, like that's a healthy just, thing. Yeah, yeah, usually <laughs> relying on substances to do your job is a good thing. <laughs> it's just it's caffeine. Like, it's not like, like, how I like I'm slamming a I fucking... Omega. Yeah, I, I just cannot cannot hold a mouse unless I get a drink. I just get the shakes. I can't be funny me. unless I have some milk in me. <laughs> <laughs> milk? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to try yeah. drinking whole milk. I like to sessions. microwave 3% milk before every session. 3%? 3%. 3.25. When did God put milk? that out? You're so privileged. Uh, isn't it? You get three, an extra yeah, three percent? 3.25% yeah, percent milk. 1%. He's a part it's of the 1%. It's homo milk. We're homo all a part milk. of the 1%, you fucking idiot. Drink up, homo. Homo milk. <laughs> yeah, you can. Do you guys not have homo milk? I've seen it oh, before. Oh wait, that's I took a Canadian a thing. Of it homo and it. And anything like, is in gay, Missouri. Gay milk. Ha. <laughs> oh, gay milk. Yeah, apparently come, that's a. Come. Apparently that's a Canadian oh. thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, it would be. That makes sense. Uh, I saw it in Boston. Oh, okay, then maybe it's like a northern reek. thing. It's one of the yeah. Yankee milks. One of them pride milks. Yeah, it's uh here. Here you go, dude. I'll show you the. <laughs> Does it come milk. from a rainbow-colored cow? It's in, it's in cancer. Take a look at the homo milk. It's called, like, what is it? Homo homogenized? It's homosexual, some, I think, is the word you're looking for. Homo Gen Z milk. Homo Gen Z milk. Yeah, homogenized. Yeah, we, there we, we go. Thank you. We can't yeah. drink milk if it's not homogenized. Or, uh, pasteurized. And it's two, it's, it's, it's two women on the bag. That's not true. You I can drink about whatever that. you want. No, you guys have, like, really boring... Actually, I think even most of North America has really boring cheese selection, because you can only have like pasteurized cheese you can have like yeah, yeah. that's why dick europe cheese, cheese goes so hard your armor. i don't know if you could have dick cheese legally you'd be a, a convicted felon if you were caught eating dick cheese i created myself in my basement so yeah that doesn't mean it's not illegal you can make a pipe bomb in your basement it's still a pipe bomb nobody stopped me they might now i think we've just gonna like completely <laughs> like stop talking about the fact that you're a skeleton it's just like, well, I accept about? him for who he is. <laughs> yeah, well, he, McNasty, Aren't I don't need to keep going. McNasty, he cares about my skin color so I'm just, much. <laughs> what was Your it? skin color is white. Prove it. See, see, <laughs> see, soup we is could. ending racism right here because he could have been black. He could have been white. He could have been Asian. We'll never know, what but we, talk to, him all, hey, we listen, talk to him all the same. The moral of the story is <laughs> underneath that skin, we're all the same. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That explains everything. <laughs> you and I are just what about the same skin color right thing. now. Yeah, that's. I actually think Dew is more pale than literal bones. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're actually paler than your skeleton in your body. <laughs> My skeleton got more of a tan than I do. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a tan, rip skin off, and reveal It actually bone is underneath. because you probably drink a, a lot of vitamin D, so your, your skin is. Your, your bones are getting more vitamin D than got your some. skin. I do. I, I fucking ass guzzle milk, so. You eat ass guzzles? I eat ass guzzles. Yeah, do you, you actually drink slut? plain milk, too? I do. Plain I milk? No yeah. way you guys drink Ugh. plain milk. Oh, yeah. I fucking love plain Dude. milk, baby. Give me, give oh, me. I drink it like no anybody way. would, like, like somebody be like, I'm gonna go get some lemonade. I just go get milk. Oh. Yeah. It's literally. good. But you I just love sit by the gross. pool and let it curdle in a glass. You don't like mommy <laughs> milkers, you fucking freak. I can't. No. See, see, these you guys. son of a bitch. These guys have been cut off from breastfeeding and it shows. I don't drink milk. <laughs> wow, yeah, Blark, Just say nobody in your life has ever lactated around you, you fucking loser. I told you I went on a cruise with a guy who could lactate. Did you try? And you his didn't milk? even try his tits. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, I you didn't. You fucking I didn't. bitch! What a I wasted opportunity. You I would son of a literally bitch! kill four family members to be in that position. You had free man milkers and denied it! Do you know how rare that is? You fucking cock. Where is this guy? It came to you, you on know a him still? cushion. <laughs> no, I don't know him. Can you put me in contact with this him. man? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna suck I'm gonna him off. Him. I'm gonna suck him off. Yeah, you get one nipple, I get the other one. Just yeah. Mm. Mm. God. Passionate as fuck about milk. Damn it. Alrighty then. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't like milk. <laughs> yeah, I'm an almond milk guy myself. I love it. These fucking milk deniers, dude. Get out of my chat. Deniers. Chat, leave a comment. Who drinks milk? Fight amongst yourselves. Let the strong bone milk people show up in the comments. Who Represent. still breastfeeds? R Represent. Yeah, leave a like on this podcast if you still breastfeed to this day. I'm at You're not getting any likes. <laughs> what was that? I'd be nasty? surprised. I said, comment bunger. No, yeah, you a little it. autistic word you've been sticking with. Yeah. God, it's so bunger. comedic. <laughs> it's a little safety bunger. word. <laughs> Yeah. Why does tick. everything have to be comedic? I can't just like a word. If I'm not laughing, yeah. shut Talking the fuck up. Talking to you is like rape. I, I never said you couldn't like a word. It's just nice to hear you Talking say. Talking to you is like rape. It's nice to hear you say other ones. <laughs> other it's words. nice not here. Not on this it's podcast. A, it's a family friendly word that ends in G-E-R. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so does yeah. burger. Bunger? Okay. And bigger. So does finger. Yeah. And vinegar. And linger. Kid named Finger. And Wigger. And Bunger. And Wigger, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about Wigger. I like how that's just an okay word we can say now. Because <laughs> we have like lore with that word. <laughs> we could say it all along. We are technically I hate that. that I, I hate that I had to tweet Team YouTube and be like, listen, I wasn't saying it. This is a, a world renowned lawyer known for his Wigger <laughs> abilities. That would demonetize me. Yeah. World renowned now after the Goons podcast. I wonder if he like picked up any business after that or like uh, got like calls. Most definitely, most Probably. there have definitely been people that have called. I feel like no at doubt. least I feel like at least fifty percent of our audience has a DUI that they're actively fighting right now. Hey, hey. you might be able to help them out. There yeah. you go. I think one of the greatest you got drunk went ninety in a school zone. Call Wigger. Leave a comment if you have a DUI. Uh, I think one of the greatest days in history is when Nintendo tweeted out that Mario hates Wiggers and then quickly had to delete it. <laughs> what? Is that a real tweet? Yeah, what? it was. A, it was a typo because no um, way. Because it it was oh, supposed wigglers. to be wiggle wigglers. <laughs> it was supposed to be wigglers. I was gonna say oh. what was what was the typo? <laughs> <laughs> Mario hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually pressed W there. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, they, they quickly deleted it and put up what they meant to say. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Why did they think that tweet was a good idea in the first place? Because, you know, the thing See, is... They should have just thing signal Mario, grind set it and left it up. <laughs> just left it, yeah. You know the <laughs> thing in Mario, which is the yellow, like, segmented worms? They're called wigglers? Yeah, yeah, wigglers, yeah. 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 yeah wigglers, but, like... Yeah. I didn't even think about it from that way. Whoops, we, we meant to say the N word. Tense. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh wait, guys. no, it, that's not what it was. It was Nintendo of America tweeted, reply wah for hashtag Waluigi Wednesday, reply flower emoji for hashtag Wigger Wednesday. <laughs> I'm tweeting it. I'm tweeting that out. <laughs> and it is Wednesday, so it works out. Yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. Can we rename like a, the podcast that to that? Like a, a <laughs> that sounds like a special at, like, Denny's. Get the fucking Wigger Wednesday. Wednesday special. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, that's pretty much all the people that actually go to win or Denny's. Yeah. I want to see. Bruh. What do I Mario Wigger tweet? <laughs> I tweeted it. Just look at Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay, great. <laughs> Grape. Fantastic. Grape, Grape soda. <laughs> Grape soda. <laughs> Why is the picture of Waluigi fucking a wiggler? Because it's Wigger Wednesday. <laughs> what else would he do? <laughs> Wigger Wednesday. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. I love when you do an unintentional ball flash. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me? You. <laughs> No, no. Uh, oh, oh, his penis. Mark. I was like, what yeah. the fuck did I just do? You like move yeah, around from laughing and just, hello, balls. You just pop up out of nowhere. Who? You. Me? Oh, my balls. Yes. Am I talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, they're all the way down uh, here. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I'm talking to a couple of old farts. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who is talking to I am? Sam. Who is? I what? am who? What has happened to I? Who's on third? 
What's on second? <laughs> they, them are on Wigger. first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, them are on first. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a dog lick screen moment. Really? Oh my god. I'm Confirmed. Welcome more. back, Donkey Kong, with some sort of trademark Whoa. on my penis. Oh, what I went does to that the say? zoo. I went to the zoo a few days ago. Oh boy. Oh that? yeah, I saw your Instagram. How'd that go? I saw Big Monkey. Big yeah. Monkey. Did mm -hmm. you throw your poop at it? It threw its poop at me and I ate it. Uh, <laughs> Minecraft <laughs> eating noises. Well, you just you should have brought a shotgun down there and just hunted. I thought about stealing one and bringing it home. Yeah, it, I probably would act on this. Yeah, why didn't well, you act on that? That impulse. There was armed security. Probably t to stop the monkeys, not you. True. If, if you true. like yeah. took them out and said, "I'm taking this monkey home," he'd probably be like, "That's my job done." Yeah, put a gun to his forehead. Say, mm -hmm. "I'm taking this gorilla home." Find where his wife today. and kids go shopping. And yeah, I just them. tell him his IP address. He moves out <laughs> of the way. He's like, right this way, sir. Right this and way. And use the prank call thing. <laughs> yeah. It's so it's so weird to me that gorillas have like a three inch dick. Yeah, it's like they were blessed in like every other aspect of like nice, no receding hairlines. They got good muscle big, stature. Strong. Big, yeah, they're strong. They just get to hang around. Who are you guys? And then they to just get a tiny the cock. The peak animal humane performance ever in the world. Who are you to question that? Gorillas they just got are peckers. They're the kings of the world, and you're questioning. It's aerodynamic, Blarg. If you don't have a three-inch penis, you're not like our Lord and Savior. <laughs> okay, but the Mr. problem is, Monkey. the weird thing is, is they're black. So doesn't make any sense. Use code goons. Yep. <laughs> Why was that yeah. your response? Yeah, maybe go back to saying bunger. It was definitely funnier. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dog moment. Look at the dog. Everybody talk about the little pug on the screen. There's this Pikachu <laughs> farting and shit moment. <laughs> Fart. Look at bunger? this cool. Look at this cool gif. Bunger, bunger. Yeah. Anyway, um, anything else happen at the zoo? <laughs> oh, I saw the gorillas eat a, a raw bell pepper. It, and and a big ass what? carrot. Did it breathe fire? It's it a bell pepper, dude. Well, some of us, some of Belpers us think those spicy are spicy. To other people. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say bell peppers aren't spicy to normal people. Yeah, they're literally just like sweet peppers. Look at his skin. Are you really? Huh? Oh. <laughs> are you really like sensitive to spice, dude? No, actually, quite the opposite. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Duber has. Didn't ask. Has, Duber has. He did. Duber has forced. Uh, Basically tortured me with spicy foods my whole life. Mm, yeah, really? it just ties you up. Yep. Force feeds it to you. Yep. My grandma thinks that the the salsa uh, sun chips are spicy. Oh my god! Ain't no way, bro. Like the the garden. Is your salsas. grandma still alive? <laughs> she. I don't know what her deal is. You don't know if your grandma's alive? <laughs> oh my grandma's god. alive? <laughs> I don't know what her, what her deal, deal is. is. I know she's alive. I just don't know her deal. What what do you mean? Like is she on deal or no deal? Or is she is she yeah, like in a coma? Is she have she's, beef? Yeah, y'all have beef. Like a, going a on. plea from the government she's, to like not say stuff. What do you mean? She took like a my deal. You know what's funny is my grandma's name is Karen and she is a hardcore Karen. Oh, actually, I remember you telling us about that. How yeah. she was like a bitch to people at Walmart and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and, like if there's somebody standing in the middle of an, an aisleway, she won't be like, "Oh, excuse me." She'd be like, "Oh, you're not the only one in the store," you know. Uh, like that kind of behavior. That's the worst. Jesus. And her name is Karen. <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to punch her in her nose. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised she hasn't been Sounds like. Sounds like she needs to die. Actually. Okay, maybe not die. Mm -hmm. Nasty, you should punch her in her nose. <laughs> I actually eventually told her I was like, if you're gonna keep acting like that, I'm like, I'm not gonna go out with you anymore. It's, oh, you going out with your grandma? Like, or you could just punch her in her nose. I don't mind that. You know idea. that soft part at like the base of the skull and the neck? You should hit her there yeah. and put her in a wheelchair. It's like a lot of uh, cartilage. Hmm. You should punch her in the temple. I think it might kill her. My body is a temple. Play the trombone. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'm not killing anyway. my grandma, so sorry to tell you guys that. Well, you're a Damn bad it. Animal. Well, we tried. Yeah. We tried, guys. Oh, well. I tried, appreciate so. your recommendations, but... There's always, yeah. next, There's week. always next week. Yeah, yeah. next week. <laughs> next oh, next hunting sure. season, we might be able to convince you. Yeah, maybe. Um, all right. Well, anything else, or should we wrap it up there on, on killing grandmas? Wrap it before you tap it, I didn't it, realize baby. we've been going for this long. Wrap it before yeah. you tap it. Don't be a dummy. Come on her tummy. When the Red River's a flowing, take the dirt road home. Fuck her in the Amen. ass. Fuck her in the Amen. ass. Fuck her so in the ass and use code goons. Buddy. <laughs> Co yell code like goons when you, when you climax. Like use code goons! Like Thank you guys for listening and or watching.
Please use code yeah. goons and buy G subs to look Fucker in the ass. Peak peak male performance. Mm -hmm. Like you'll look like us like if you me. have G subs. Yeah, you all use of us code combined. Goons. Mm -hmm. uh, you want this masculinity? All this right here? Code you want this Spotify. obesity? You want this obesity? I don't yeah, like you that do. you have murder gloves on, McNasty. Sorry, carry on, soup. You want you you want to go to Spotify and you want to download? Yeah, yeah. You want to get a bone ah! like me? Ah! You want ah! You want to get you want to get boned? Yeah. Uh, I'm just ribbing you. Kevin! Uh, yeah. What the <laughs> go to Spotify? Go to Spotify. Download the fucking podcast. Oh, oh, right. thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you for 300,000 subscribers oh, yeah, on the thanks YouTube channel. For 300K on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. still have thank not you very been much. paid. Thank you very much. <laughs> I still not, haven't not. seen a dime. I haven't. I've seen the dime. I spent two hundred dollars at the party fault. store today, <laughs> out of my own pocket. <laughs> He's a net negative. We're negative money for this. <laughs> I had to spend two dollars on that banana I used as my cock the other day. I'm negative as well. <laughs> oh god! My body costs sixty bucks. <laughs> oh, that's pretty I'm cheap. Recording. <laughs> this bunger hat costs forty-five cents. Ah! ah, ah. All right, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>